There is a lot of conversation happening about how big data can affect significant changes in business operations. I'm here to talk to you about the value of big data and what does it really take to derive true value from big data. To start with, let's understand what big data means. It means data that, has, uh, that comes in huge volume, has a very high throughput, which is high velocity, and number three, comes from a cross-section of sources, which means that there is a very high variety of data that comes in. Interestingly, when we talk about cross-sectionality, we are not just talking about structured data, which traditionally used to exist in relational databases. We are actually talking about free text data, multimedia data that exists in unstructured format. What does it take and what to derive value out of this big data? And what is the value out of big data? Let me tackle the second question first. What is the value of big data? The most critical value for big data from big data is that it is possible for organizations to have a comprehensive uh, and ever increasing view of the space that they operate in. The obvious benefit of having better visibility into the space that they are operating in is that it's now possible for companies to have deeper engagements, more meaningful conversations with their customers, which has a direct impact on revenue, and more efficiency in operations, which has a direct impact on cost, and most critically, a very clear understanding, or a better understanding rather, of risks that they are operating in, which obviously has an impact on profitability of the company. Now, what does it take to make sense out of this? The first thing that one needs to do, especially in the big data space when we are talking about cross-sectionality of data, is to have the ability to consume all this data that comes in from this fire hose uh, of, of information, put it all together in one place and derive contextually relevant information out of it. For this, we use a set of technologies which are based on language processing and machine learning to say that when data comes in from multiple sources and when they are put together, they reveal uh, a, a view of, of the world which is larger than the sum of parts. Once this information has been arrived at, using language technologies and semantic web technologies, one goes into the next step of deriving value out of big data, which is to look at tech methodologies and technologies available to handle the huge velocity or huge variety of data that comes in, the multidimensionality of data that comes in. Traditional methodologies have inherent uh, weaknesses and handicaps in handling this because they are fundamentally geared towards handling small amounts of structured data that comes in uh, small chunks. When we are talking about the big data environment, we are talking about the requirement for technologies which can not only handle the huge uh, throughput of data that comes in, but also technologies that can handle large dimension sets. And we are talking about orders of magnitude which can go 100, if not 1000 more than what is traditionally possible. The way to do uh, and address this challenge is to look for uh, methodologies in artificial intelligence, basically machine learning technologies which allow users to handle multidimensional data that comes in and create a learning environment in which the system consumes new data that it comes in and adapts itself to new data. The true value from big data Therefore, comes from number one, putting data in context and deriving information out of them from both structured and unstructured, and then using that information and processing that information using a adaptive uh, layer comprising of uh, machine learning algorithms, which can handle multiple dimensions of data and throw out uh, highly relevant, highly precise, highly contextualized results for data scientists.